So a solar eclipse is an event that occurs when the moon passes directly in front of the sun as seen from the Earth. So it's the moon getting in between the sun and the Earth, and the moon casts a big shadow. And when that shadow falls on the Earth, the people who are underneath the shadow will see no sun because the moon is blocking it. They're rarely seen by most people because they only cover a small path across the Earth. A good one only passes by one area of the Earth oh, every 50 or 100 years. It's one of these things that a lot of people talk about because if you've seen a total eclipse, you remember it. A total solar eclipse provides us with a laboratory situation where the, the bright photo disk is completely blocked and we can see the corona of the sun which extends out 7 to 25 times the radius of the sun into the interplanetary region. So it gives us an opportunity to look at all the things that are sort of streaming out from the sun. Because it blocks out the sunlight, you can actually see stars and planets. So one of the studies that's going to be done is looking at Venus and Mercury and looking at their positions because we get this opportunity and they're relatively close to the sun and so there are times when we can't see them. The most important thing I think for anybody who's going to try to see the eclipse is make sure that you have proper eye protection. The danger is that during an eclipse most of the sun's surface is blocked and so only a small fraction of that light reaches us. If a person is looking at the sun at that time it's not bright enough to be uncomfortable. And so a person could look at the sun for 10 or 20 or 30 seconds and say, oh, it's not so bad. I can see that it looks like a little crescent arc, a really bright thing. Wow, that's pretty cool looking. You want to be sure that you never get a glimpse of that bright crescent of the sun coming out from behind the moon, because that is, is really, really bad for your eyes. These glasses block about 9,999 parts out of 10,000 or most of the sunlight. So if you put these on, you can look at the sun safely before an eclipse or after an eclipse, and even during an eclipse. It's an opportunity, I think, to connect well with science and try and show people how science is interesting. We kind of have these spikes in which everybody has an interest, but the real goal is to use those spikes to kind of pull them more into a deeper scientific understanding. If you miss this one, uh, seven years from now, we have another one going across the United States, and it's going across Rochester. So if you live in the Rochester area, if you live in Monroe County, you are in the path of totality. And 2024, uh, you might have a chance to see it.